Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions review, demo, wear test on the new Maybelline Super State Foundation. So if you want to see how this guy laughs out on my super oily, oily skin, then just keep watching. So guys, I picked this one up from Coles Supermarket. Coles recently had, I think it was like a 50% off sale of all Maybelline products. So I knew I had to pick this one up. I have it in the shade 003 True Ivory. So hopefully it'll match my pale little face at the moment. So just a claim to this foundation, it is meant to be full coverage, high pigment foundation. It is not meant to wear off. It's meant to be transfer resistant, humidity resistant, and sweat resistant, which sounds amazing. It is oil free and it's been tested by a dermatologist, so it's not meant to clog your pores and it's meant to provide a comfortable matte finish, which all of those things sound super amazing for an oily skin girl like myself. So the packaging wise just comes in a glass bottle and it actually comes with a pump as well, which I'm super stoked about. All foundations should come with a pump, it should just be standard. So I am super stoked this one comes with a pump. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but it has like a little ball inside it to help mix up the foundation as well. So make sure you give it a good shake before you use it. So I have this one in the shade 03 True Ivory and it comes with 14 shades which is currently on the Maybelline.com.au website. You can pick this one up from Priceline at the moment. Retails from about $24.95. I did pick this one up from Coles when Coles had a 50% off sale so I paid about $13-ish for the foundation. So make sure you wait until they go on sale. Priceline and a lot of supermarkets have sales on Maybelline and drugstore products so never pay full price for your foundation. Always wait till they go on sale. So first up guys, I'm going to start off by priming my face. You guys know when I do my first impressions reviews, I always prime my face. I'm using the State Matte Rimmel Primer today to help control my oils. I always use a primer in my everyday life. I don't see the point in testing out a foundation not using primer, if that makes sense. I'm just going to focus this on my T-zone and blend it out. Now once that's all blended out, I'm going to apply the foundation. I'm just going to give it a good shake. It's actually a perfect time to be testing this foundation and the coverage because I've got this huge pimple right on the side of my face. I put a mask on it last night hoping it would like get rid of it. It's still really sore though. I'm going to start off with one pump to do one half of my face to see what we can get with one pump, what coverage we can get. Um, so, okay. There's maybe like one and a bit. So that's the consistency there. I think the consistency is actually quite similar to the uh, second version of this one. It's had like three remakes as foundation. So the second kind of formula of this one, I did a first impressions review on that one as well. I'll leave a card up above so you guys can see that first impression review, but I really like that foundation. So I don't really know why they've reformulated it, but we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it's even better. I'm just gonna dab my beauty blender into that and begin applying to my face. The colour looks very pale, but it looks like it's going to match me. The coverage is pretty full on. I think that's covered that spot up really, really freaking well. So I'm just going to bring it down my neck as well, just in case this oxidises throughout the day. It does sit down really, really, really quickly. It has a kind of matte-ish, powderish finish. Not super, super heavy powdery, but it's definitely a powdered set down finish. You have no shine or dewiness to your skin whatsoever. My pores do not look enlarged or anything like that. It maybe looks a little bit cakey under my eyes here, but I'm going to leave my under eye area free just to use my concealer there. Sometimes I find when I do these foundation reviews, the foundation sets while I'm talking about it. Normally I'd be really quick and apply my foundation and then my concealer at the top and they kind of blend in together. But when I do these reviews, sometimes I wait a little bit to look too long and it starts to look really cakey and it has nothing to do with the actual foundation just means because I've been fucking around talking for too long um, and it dries so I'll just leave that area blank ish for the minute so that is a one half of my face there and as you can see it is pretty full coverage I could do with a little bit more coverage over this spot here but it looks pretty good my pores look fine nothing looks exaggerated it hasn't settled in anywhere it's maybe looking it's maybe looking a little bit dry right here on my smile line um, but guys, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's maybe looking a little bit scaly here, actually. Let's go blend that in a little bit more. So it's kind of one half of my face there for you. So from that one and a little bit pump, I still have a quite a lot left on my hand here. So I'm just going to use that same amount and wipe the rest of that off and use that to apply on the other side. And I did see when I went to go pick this up, a lot of these foundations were very pink toned. Did anyone else find that? Have you tried these ones out? I found like the shade selection was very, very pink. Um, and I feel like a lot of the drugstore foundations which are coming out at the moment are really, really pink. Nothing super neutral based, um, which is annoying because although I have a kind of cooler complexion it's not super yellow or anything like that I don't want to make it look any more pinker than it already is so I sometimes like to go with foundation that's either neutral or that has a slight yellow undertone to really cancel out that pinkness so and it will see hopefully this doesn't turn super super pink it blends out so easily as well 
but it definitely dries really quickly like that's pretty much dry it's looking a little bit cakey around my nose as well here actually I might need another little bit there or maybe my concealer so it's definitely matte if you have super dry skin I don't think you're gonna be a fan of this because this is a full-on matte finish it's actually even looking a little bit dry for me around my nose especially so Definitely for my oily, oily skin girls, that's for sure. So that's a one and a bit pumps for my entire face, which is actually really, really good. Normally for my Rimmel 25 hour lasting finish foundation, I do about three pumps. So the coverage is amazing for this one for the amount of product that you use. I'm going to apply a little bit more just around my nose area here and just over this massive zit that I've got going on just to see if we can get it absolutely marked. So just going to apply about a half pump just over those areas just to see if we can get a little bit more coverage over that spot there and just around my nose because it's just looking a little bit dry there. I think I just need a little bit more to cover my nose. Does anyone have that? My nose sometimes is such a bitch to cover. Doesn't like getting, doesn't like getting its foundation on. Rubs off there really easy too. I would say it's build buildable, uh, but it is starting to look a little bit heavy, especially around my nose here, where I applied that extra little bit. I definitely think that I prefer to be applying this with a beauty blender, like I'm doing, just for that extra little bit of moisture. Um, just to help with the blendability. I think like a brush would make it look very cakey quite quickly. So that is about two pumps of the foundation there for my entire face. I'm going to zoom you in so you can have a close up look of the skin. So that is the skin at the moment. It's definitely looking powdered set finish, that's for sure. Um, it's maybe not covered this blemish up here as much as I probably would have liked. Um, my nose is maybe looking a little bit heavy, but Besides that, like my pores don't look emphasized at all. It hasn't really settled into any fine lines at all, which is pretty good. Um, it definitely looks like you're wearing makeup. This isn't a no makeup foundation by any means, um, but my skin is looking pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good at the moment. The time is almost 10 o'clock now, so I'm gonna apply the rest of my face makeup, um, eyes and everything, and I'll be back in to start our check-in. So guys, I'm back. The time is now 10.44 a.m. So the makeup's been on for about 40 minutes or so now. This is the end result here. Everything's looking pretty good. I do feel like this foundation is a bit heavy. Like it looks like you've got foundation on, which I'm not I'm not against that. I'm all for looking like I've got makeup on. I love makeup. Don't care if I've got a ton load or none on. I love the stuff. But you can definitely tell that you've got foundation on. So if you're not into that kind of heavier makeup look, then you probably aren't going to like this foundation. Um, it still has, you can still kind of see my zit through here. So it hasn't completely covered that one up. And I feel like it's gone a little bit patchy across my nose and also the top of my forehead here. Um, the sides of my nose look amazing. Like they do not look cakey or oily or heavy. They look super smooth. My pores look amazing. Um, I've had a little bit of creasing here. It just looks a little bit dry. Now I did apply concealer. The concealer that I used was my Rimmel Breathable Concealer and powder. I used the Kat Von D Locket powder as well. I did also spray my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to settle down the powders because this does have quite a powdery finish to it and I'm not really... I like a powdery finish because it helps keep your makeup matter for longer but I'm not a fan of how it looks on my face so I do like to apply a little bit of setting spray of some kind or finishing spray to kind of just settle down those powders but this is what it's looking like at the moment everything else went on fine my concealer went on fine powder bronzer highlight everything else went on amazingly I'm really liking it so far so I'm gonna head off now I will check back in with you guys in a few hours and we'll see how everything is holding up hey guys so I'm back with my check-in the time is now 6.40 p.m. so I've had the foundation on for about eight hours 40 minutes so about almost nine hours and this is what we're looking like okay I am a little bit shiny I get that but guys this is looking amazing for a drugstore foundation I actually feel like I feel like it might be beating my Rimmel Outlast Day Fabulous foundation did I just say that did I just say that for me that is such a huge claim but my face looks pretty pretty damn good for that long of a wear it is a foundation that looks like you've got makeup on so if you're not into that look then it's probably not going to be the foundation for you i don't really mind looking like i've got makeup on i mean come on look at my full face at the moment so 
I don't really mind that. I am shiny. It's mainly focused right on the sides of my nose here, forehead and chin. But nothing that I don't think I can get away with blotting and then applying a bit of powder. I totally think I can get more out of this foundation. It hasn't really separated at all. It's maybe creased a little bit in my smile lines here and on my forehead lines here. But nothing super crazy. I'll zoom you in so you can have a closer look at everything. But guys... I'm really impressed with how this is looking. I think it's looking pretty, pretty damn good. So this is what it's looking like. As, as I said, it is looking quite a bit shiny through here. My nose is maybe looking a little bit cakey, a little bit heavy, just on the sides here. Um, my chin is looking all right. Nothing's really kind of come off or um, separated on my chin. And that is what my forehead is looking like as well. Again, a little bit shiny. I think it's maybe gone a little bit patchy just here, but nothing crazy. So yeah, that is what the face is looking like. I'm so incredibly impressed with this foundation. It has done an amazing job. So it gets two big thumbs up from me. I am looking shiny, but I think that's always going to be the case with my skin. I just have an oily skin type. But I think some blotting and some loose translucent powder just over those areas would totally fix up any issues. For a foundation that only cost me $13 at Kohl's, I think it's done an incredible, incredible job. I would absolutely compare this to my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. It definitely has that kind of same powdered finish to your skin, but I actually feel like the cracking and the creasing in my smile lines and my forehead is actually less apparent than it is with my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. That one does crease quite heavily on me, but I think the creasing's a little bit worse with that one than it is on this. But both of them have that kind of powdered set down finish, so I think they're quite comparable. So this one is definitely worth picking up if you're interested in picking up the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. The textures of the foundations are quite different. This one's a little bit more runny. The Urban Decay one's a little bit more thick gel-like but they both had that kind of matte powdered finish and I think they perform quite similarly on the skin. So this gets a big thumbs up from me. Comparing it with the second reformulation of this foundation, I think the third formulation is the best by far. I did really like the second remake of the Superstay foundation. I think it did an amazing job. But this one has just amped up the coverage and I think it's controlling my oils better than it did the last time. So guys, that's it for this demo wear test. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a, a big like, thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so don't miss out on any of my new videos. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.